اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقهوا قولي اللهم افتح علينا حكمتا وانشر علينا رحمتا يا ذا الجلال والاكرام اللهم اني اسالك علما نافعا ومن لم تقبل منه رزقا طيبا اللهم اعفني في بدني اللهم اعفني في سمي اللهم اعفني في بصري لا اله الا انت سبحانك اني كنت من الظالمين حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل لا حول ولا قوة الا بالله الا الله العظيم رب زدنی علما رب زدنی علما رب زدنی علما السلام علیکم ایوری ون گڈ مارننگ اوکے ناؤ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن اباؤٹ ہاؤ ٹو ایکسپلور نیئر پوڈ اور ہاؤ ٹو یوز نیئر پوڈ ان ان یور آن لائن کلاسز سو اٹس ویری انٹرسٹنگ سافٹ ویئر اینڈ اٹ از فری آف کاسٹ یو کین یوز دس یو کین انٹیگریٹ دس ان یور کلاس اٹ از ٹو میک یور لیسن مور انٹریکٹیو سو لیٹس ٹیک اے اسٹارٹ سو اور فرسٹ اسٹیپ از Our first step is you need to click on in Google search engine Nearpod and this will appear nearpod.com Click here After clicking here you will get this interface Here you have to first of all you need to log in as a teacher Log in as a teacher and uh, are just a uh, free sign up Sign up for free If you have already created the account, you can click on login. Now he's asking, I have to continue with my this account or this one. I uh, I will click here, use another account. Now here you can enter your Gmail. I'm going to use here my Gmail account. This one. Hopefully this account will not visible at your end. You need to hide your email addresses. Click on next. Then enter your password. Next. Enter. Okay, ji. After that, you will find this interface. Quickly click here. I agree to near port terms and condition. I am over 13 year old. Click here. Click on sign up. Okay. After that, you will find this interface. And here you need to do what you need to select. Um, please tell us little about yourself. Here you need to select your subject. Uh, I'm going to select all these subjects. You can sub uh, select your specific subject here, but I'm selecting all. So here you can select your grades in which you are teaching. Uh, I'm going to select. Um, okay. I'm actually taking class four onward, but I have selected class grade three as well. So. Uh, okay, fine. I've selected these classes now. Um, select your role. I'm a teacher. You can select your role. Okay, now click on done. Your profile is saved. Now after that you will find this interface and here you can see at the top right corner you can see your account over here. You can manage near part account, lesson setting and all that notification and uh, everything. Make any lesson interactive. So I'm going to cross this quickly. I'm going to show that. Uh, you, uh, I'm recommended okay, first of all when you are going to use a near part you need to click here play with the demo. It will help you a lot. Please go for this. So I'm going to click on Nearpod library and I'm going to select my subject here. You can search lessons, you can search activities, you can search videos. Okay, um, I'm going to click on videos and now I want to select a subject. My subject is technology and computer. So I click here. You can subject multiple subject as well, but right now I'm teaching computer, so I will select technology. Now, in which grade I am going, going to teach this? Uh, let's uh, select grade 8. And according to this setting, this uh, data will appear over here. Now, I am going to select cyber security. Click on it. For example, I am going to integrate this subject, this topic in my class. Today is Friday and I am going to integrate this. Yes. Okay. Now, he is asking uh, what to do. Okay, uh, I want to add this add to my lesson adding. Okay, now first of all, it will be added in your lesson, and after that, okay, here you can select live participation student student pace will complete the assignment on their own. Okay, now in the front of the class, I'm going for the live participation like this one, control the pace. On your own device, student respond to question on their devices. Click here. 
okay so after uh, clicking on this interface you will find this interface you need to click here you click on uh, live participation and here you will start or uh, resume your session I will click on start new session this code will appear I'm going to copy this link click on copy I can share with it, uh, this in Microsoft Teams in Google Classroom okay um, so you can paste this link in Microsoft Teams in the chat box so that when student will click on that they will directly join your class so I will uh, copy this now after copying this I am going to paste in, in cognitive mode here I will paste this link so that I can show you that how it looks like when student will join the class so this uh, this is a video how should uh, how should it play teachers teachers play means that uh, video play on the teachers device question appear on the student device only video will appear over here question will appear over there uh, but uh, in the students play student watch the video and answer question at their own place so it's better to select this one students play so that they can understand they can watch that video so first of all student will when the student will end, uh, click on that link they will find this interface they will write their name over here so i'm going to write here muhammad usman then i will click on join so uh, uh, at the teacher end this is the student view okay now i'm going to click here select play a uh, student plays and then click continue now video will appear over here Student need to play this video at their end. Student will play this video, they watch the video, and after that, they will answer the question. For example, they reach over here. Now, what do you already know about the internet? How to stay safe when using it? Network of computer, you are not, are not supposed to share okay you need to hide that so when you will click on submit soon will click on submit it will appear right now it's appearing here moment usman no answer participation is zero so when it will click here click on submit participation started teacher can view that this student has given in the answer teacher will uh, review this and teacher will give them feedback and after that uh, if student want to uh, continue play, uh, playing this video then it will click on continue it so will... why is it insecure and why can't we just fortify it until it's safe well first of all the internet was not originally built to be what it is today it's like someone decided to expand a shoebox into a skyscraper the internet originally developed when computers were huge and so expensive to own that only okay you know i want uh, i want uh, to take one more response from the students so i will create one more in uh, cognitive mode and here i will paste that link enter and i want to get the response of one more student so one uh, more student is participating in the class no he's asking for a code here so where is the code code is over here this one is the code I'm going to copy this no only copy this code and I will give this to my student and when it will enter the code student join the class here student will enter his name so I'm going to write here right now Fatma Faisal join the class no it appeared over here yes it appeared so let me stagger it over here side by side window open side by side okay and uh, now now i want to uh student will play this video at their end now after playing the video uh, she need to enter the answer submit the answer what do you already know about the internet so okay okay what about internet internet is a collection of networks 
collection of networks and how to stay safe when using it never ever share your personal information personal info okay now click on submit when I it will right now I only one student has responded here 50% participation is there in the first question so when it will she will submit the answer at their end this is a student view and then I will get the response over here can you see this Fatma Faisal submitted answer successfully that so you can make this session more interactive okay what we have here if student want to leave the class they can click on exit and then exit and then they will join the class back and uh, what if the student uh, teacher want to end this class uh, what if teacher want to enter the class? you can even use whiteboard here video is done now click on whiteboard so when you click on whiteboard it will be appear over here so here you will enter first of all you need to log uh, lock it so that no nobody can write over here first of all you need to write your objectives here you click on this text tool it will appear here you need to select the color I'm going to select this one and uh, then you can increase the font size like that okay now I'm going to write text over here so I will write lesson objectives okay blah 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 let me increase this now by clicking on this plus sign you can place your objective over here you can even mention your date date and everything so here I'm going to write my first objective is what is meant by internet and how you can protect yourself when you are using it and how can you let me make some space like that okay click here and how can you this is the lesson objective you can even uh, do what create this copy and you can bring it over here by clicking here you can create this duplicate copy that's how you can write different objectives here for example if you want to make changes here click on text tool can I change that yes by clicking here you are able to change this da 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 blah 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 like that okay if you want to write your second objective you can write something over here okay what is the difference between internet and intranet that's it these are the objectives that you are going to integrate in your class let me place this over here processor let me take it over here so that it looks better okay these are the two objectives that I want to integrate in my class you can use this to, to for sharing objectives you can use this for sharing object objectives you can even delete that if we can undo this okay now uh, let me go back let me close the whiteboard so again we will enter in the same uh, interface so now got it continue playing video so why is it insecure and why can't we just fortify it until it's safe well first of all that's how you can uh, use this uh, in your classroom okay let me go back in a teacher's view let me go back if you want to integrate the other video you can go here scroll here for example of copyrights and fair use um, animations click here now I want to integrate this video why this is not appearing over because I haven't added this in my lesson so first of all you need to add this in your lesson then it will appear that's how you can use um, 
near pod in your class effectively thank you very much take care allah face stay tuned in the next lesson i will tell you how you will um, create your lessons your slides and all that using near pod thank you very much take care allah face